Well, good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, November 21st, 2020. We've got 49 degrees right now. A rainy 49 degrees. It's going to be a high of 51 and a low of 39. Um, so it's getting to be that time of year when you turn your heat on in the morning, your AC on at night. It's just, it's just that wonderful weather that part of the United States gets and the rest of the United States doesn't have the joy of experiencing. Uh, it's been raining off and on all night, so um, everything's pretty soaked. Looks like we're going to have rain throughout the day, off and on. So anyway, just a quick video to say hello, good morning, I'm still alive. So I have a, a Chusky, a Chow Husky mix. And his name is Shigoshin. Shigoshin is the Japanese word for guardian spirit. Um, and he is eight years old today. He was born November 21st, 2012. And uh, he still behaves just like a puppy. He just he just absolutely has a great time. So, um, But he's eight years old today, so wish him happy birthday. Shigoshin. Um, I'll probably spell that out right here. But anyway, uh, so eight years old. He's uh, He's been my, my main man for, for eight years. Before him, I had a dog named Rebel, who was a, a pure chow. And uh, he was a guardian. I tell you what. You know, chows were raised um, as imperial guards uh, to, to uh, guard Chinese castles. Uh, and that's exactly, they're, they're very good, very, very good guard dogs. Um, and, uh, he was, he was fantastic, but he passed and, and, uh, sometime later we got Shigoshin. And, uh, so. But as all living things, you know, as all living things do, they don't last. Well, most of them don't last forever. So I'm immortal, but or at least so far. Uh, so. I started reloading. Or trying to reload ammunition, in case you didn't know what I was talking about. Uh, I like to shoot, um, and so I started collecting brass, and I bought a, a reloading press and and whatnot. Um, and I have bullets. I have which are the projectiles. Bullet isn't the whole thing. Bullet, bullet is a projectile. Projectile at the end. Um, I have brass. I have powder. I have the press. The only thing I don't have right now, and just cannot find, are small rifle primers. Now primers, in case you don't know what those are, are the little explosive caps that go in the back end of a of a, uh, a brass shell. And when the gun hammer strikes that little explosive part, it creates a spark that ignites the rest of the powder in the shell, and that builds up pressure and throws the projectile, the bullet, out the end of the barrel. Hopefully to your target. So without the prime, without any piece of that, you can't make an effective gun round. So I'm looking for small rifle primers, boxers. And there's a couple of types. Um, so if you know of a source where there really are actual small rifle primers available, hit me up in the comments and let me know, please, because I am just not finding them. I called one reloading place, and he said it's going to be 18 to 24 months before he will be able to get any in on a regular basis. Hmm. So, um, and I think it's going to get worse because I think uh, if uh, Pedro Biden becomes uh, president, I think that he, I'm sorry, I think if Joe Biden becomes president, um, I think uh, President Kamala Harris is going to try to take people's guns away uh, in no small measure. Uh, and so I think people are going to stock up. Uh, they're going to be, be buying ammo. They're going to be buying reloading equipment. They're going to be buying rifles and handguns in an unprecedented number, I do believe. Uh, actually, it already kind of did. Um, back uh, earlier this year, there was a big run on guns, uh, and which is why it's hard to find reloading equipment now, primers and such. Um, because uh, it's just people, wise people are seeing the writing on the wall. So uh, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, there's an ammunition shortage. 
Uh, one ammunition producer is eight billion dollars and a year and a half behind in orders um, and they're just cranking them out so whatever that means to you okay so if again if you're smart you know what you need to do so well I guess that's uh, I guess that's all that's going on enjoying the rain I'm um, you can see right here see all this rain oh where's it where's my hand where's my hand there it is See all the rain? It's just, it's just raining. So um, that's what's going on at this time in this place. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I am on Twitter, by the way. Uh, and I'll try to put the link here if you want uh, to follow me on Twitter. On uh, I'm 16 days through a 30-day ban on or a restriction on YouTube or uh, Facebook. Uh, apparently because some months ago I posted a... Uh, uh, some months ago, I posted a uh, screenshot of the fundraiser for Kyle Rittenhouse. He was over $500,000, and I just said it was as good. So some months later, they found that. Somebody pointed out to him whatever, they put me on a 30-day restriction, which is fine. Speaking of Kyle Rittenhouse, he is, from what I understand, out of, out of jail, been bonded out, and is back home. So uh, his legal team and some, some famous actors and such are... Uh, back him up uh, uh, financially uh, and with legal help and of course the American people are are uh, contributing to his defense fund so uh, if you uh, if you are so inclined uh, there is a defense fund out there uh, under go send give send to go give send to go dot com um, you can go out there and look it up uh, you know all you gotta do is put in his name and you'll find it you can contribute there or you can contribute to uh, his uh, attorneys directly uh, Lynn Wood at uh, fightback.org, I believe it is. Look it up. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, when I edit this, I'll try to put the um, the uh, URL down here to be sure. But it's fightback.org.net. It's I'll, I'll put it down here. You'll, you'll see it. It's be right about here. So, um, anyway, uh, now, that's what's going on at this time in this place, and we will talk to you all a little later. Thanks again for, uh, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it.